Actually, these guys always uh, come out and uh, do surprise the street. Uh, this time round two, I believe the profit uh, has uh, come in uh, slightly on the higher side. Uh, it'll just come up on your screen right now. I'm just uh, looking at that number to come out. But uh, if, I, if we were expecting a profit of 7700 crore and what they've come out is at 13,000 crore. That's a big beat. There has to be a big component of inventory gains or some other income uh, which would actually take the number to that, that level because this is clearly not in, uh, expected. Our own estimate was uh, closer to the uh, shade lower than the 8000 crore mark. The street was working anywhere between 7,000 to say 9,000 crore. That was a broad range the street was working with. Uh, revenue has come in at 91,000 crore. Our own estimate was 1.2 lakh crore. So clearly is on the lower side. Uh, I'm com convinced that this uh, uh, profitability number will have an exceptional item. If you remember, you know, just, just the previous quarter too, there was a very sharp cut as far as the profit number was concerned. For, so the first 5-7 minutes we were perplexed what led to that but there was a very big exceptional COVID impact and adjusted to that the numbers were just okay. So uh, I uh, feel that uh, probably some amount of adjustment has gone into this net profit number on a consolidated basis. Uh, the revenue number looks more like it because this is the quarter where all the three segments of the company which is uh, you know the growing retail end. Uh, pet chem and traditional refining all three have gone through a very weak patch so this was supposed to and if you look at the uh, top line number it is clearly visible over there the kind of drop we are seeing and our number itself was uh, pretty uh, conservative so that's actually the reality but uh, profit number will get in a little more do we have any the guests joining in now very shortly we've got a uh, battery of analysts which have lined up Okay, Naveen Kulkarni is here with us. Uh, Naveen, what do you make of this uh, profitability number? Clearly way ahead of we were estimating, but I would like to go into the details of that. How are you reading this number? Naveen? Yeah, hi, uh, sorry, I couldn't get your speaker. Right, Naveen, uh, what do you make of this 13,000 crore net profit number? So, I think there is a one-time gain is what I can see. Uh, so... We'll have to adjust for that number before making any sense about uh, uh, the profit number. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure there should be some gear, some one-time factors because the revenue is significantly lower than what we were estimating. So, and uh, of course, EBITDA is still component. Yes, Naveen. One-time gain, if we adjust for that problem. Naveen, uh, I will just read out the other income component has come in at almost 4,500 crore. Uh, which is an exceptional item, uh, for almost 4,900 crore, the exceptional item which I was talking about. If you adjust for that, uh, take off, uh, uh, the, say, 5,000 crore from the 13,000 odd crore number which has come in, then you see the number which is in line with estimates. So, adjusted number is in line with estimates. Uh, my colleague Abha is also joining in. Naveen, uh, you can tell us uh, uh, if we strip out this uh, exceptional item of the BP gain, uh, how would the number look like to you? No, I think uh, there could be even more gains because, uh, see, the revenue number is definitely lower than what we were estimating. That's point number one. Point number two, the geo revenues largely seem to be in line, right? Uh, so I think the primarily the lower numbers are in the pet chem and retail and the other businesses. So my sense is probably the profit number, if we adjust for the one-offs, might be lower than expectations. Yeah, so I think 5,000 crore gain is one-time gain. So we probably will have to adjust for that. And it might be a little lower than what we were estimating. Okay. Let me also welcome in... Um uh, our next guest but you know just to get a sense as well again of this revenue hit perhaps like where exactly uh, you know it's possibly coming from and what's causing that uh, that figure on our screen uh, our next guest is also lined up uh, if you could just remind me Anand uh, who's who do we have right now on the line 
Sushil Choksi. Sushil, good to have you with us. If I could just get your first reaction to these numbers. Good evening. Thanks for having me on the show. Looks like that there are exceptional items, maybe the right back of last quarter's oil uh, provisioning which they had made. I think with the oil price recovering back, possibly they have written back as one-time exceptional income which they had taken last quarter. Otherwise, oil and gas, I mean, oil to chemical and refining would have has had a miss. I don't have the press release in front of me, but whatever I could make out from, I think uh, lockdown has impacted where petchem uh, marketing in India is concerned and manufacturing, and that would have taken a larger hit, and refining would have done a little better compared to the street estimate. So on a balance as an oil to chemical division, that would have had an impact. Geo seems to have done well with a revenue of 16,500 crores roughly and a pat of 2520. So that seems online. We need to see segmental for the retail also because I'm sure retail would have taken a hit too. I think that's, uh, yeah, I think we're waiting to see that number. Petchem Ibitas, 4,430 crores versus 8,810 crores. And um, we've got, uh, you know, we've already talked about the other income, just going through the other headline numbers as they come in. Sushil, retail I don't see on my screen yet. Uh, Geo is more or less in line as well, as you said. So that one-time gain of uh, 4,966 crores due to the BP Global Investment Deal, that's what they're factoring in. Post that, though, would you still be uh, comfortable with the kind of uh, revenue numbers being reported? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a COVID period of first quarter. So I'm quite sure looking at the number, that seems all right. So if you look at the number so far, the first 10 minutes clearly shows that Geo seemed to have been the pillar. Uh, the refining as well as the pet cam end of the business has come under pressure. Uh, gross refining number is something to watch out for from here on. 6.6 .6 or 6, 6.5 is what we were expecting this quarter. They've given just a shade lower than that, 6.3. Uh, so it's a mixed number. It appears like a mixed number, but the question now is, uh, let me come to you, Naveen, with that. Uh, do you think that the three segments, which because of the lockdown got fully captured this quarter, will they trough out from here? That's the question.